For the first time in America East history, the men's and women's basketball championships will be held on the same weekend in the same city. Join your team at the 2010 America East Men's and Women's Basketball Championship presented by Newman's Own. Tickets are on sale now. Call 860-768-HAWK or visit AmericaEast.com. There's so many other players that I've coached that I could call great players or the best players to play for me, but there's just something about Erica that is special. How hard she works in everything that she does. She never takes a possession off. She never takes a day off. From the day she walked on campus, she's been so respected by everybody that's been around her. And it's rare to have a freshman that talented that comes in and takes an upperclassman spot and everybody around her just knows that she deserves it and she's the best player on our team. And that's how it's been for five years with her. I mean, everybody's loved her and she's done everything right to deserve it. Welcome back to America East on campus, back here at the University of Hartford. Join now by Erica Beverly, one of the hardest working players in America East basketball. That's a compliment for you, right? I mean, that is. I mean, that's something more than anything else. Thousand points, all the rebounds, everything. To be called a hard worker is a big compliment to you. Um, yes, I've always been a hard worker since I was a baby. Um, just learning from my sisters, my mom, and all of them, and all my coaches who have been, you know, motivated me to continue to do, to do everything great. So, um, hard worker can be, you know, my middle name. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that is a good middle name. <laughs> Um, and you've had to work extra hard here in your time at Hartford because we remember back a couple years ago you had the knee injury, you, you missed a good chunk of the season, and that was a long road back, but it looks like you've come all the way back. Do you feel like it? I mean, I know that was a couple years ago and maybe a distant memory, but uh, it's something that was a big part of your career here. Yeah, um, I think I'm all the way back. You know, I feel it here and there, like physically I feel it here and there, but like per, um, mentally I'm here. I've yeah. been here ever since I been able to come back and play. Um, I've worked very hard, you know, um, just to stay mentally and physically at this level, so. All right, we're at the point now, though, you were nearing the end of your college career, so this is when you start to get those questions. What's your number one moment? And I know the answer is, well, it's still to come when we go to the NCAAs <laughs> this year. I'm going to take that off the table, but what would you say, looking back so far, has been one that, wow, that comes in my mind more than anything else? Oh, man. He's been in the NCAAs, winning the NCAAs. See, it's a lot. You, 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 keep naming you want me to go through the list? Turkey's championship. Um, I'm just going to say all of them. I really don't have a big number one thing. Um, I'm just going to take all the memories, all the accomplishments, all the coaching that my coach have given me um, to the next level, you know? So I really don't have a number one big right. moment. Off the court, though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say and I'll speak for you here. Your number one moment is you're already a graduate of the University of Hartford. Congratulations. Thank you. What did it mean for you and for your family to, to walk out of here with the diploma oh, back in there? It's a big, a big accomplishment. Um, I think I'm only like the third one out of my family to graduate college. And I think I'm the only one to get a double major. I, I graduated with a double major. So um, it's big. Uh, just, just to graduate. A lot of people don't graduate, so it's, it's a big thing. And now you're still taking classes, obviously, and, yes. and now you're going, you already got the diploma, now you're going for a master's. master's. Now, yeah, what, what are you focusing much. on? Um, communications right now. So um, I really haven't picked which focus because this wasn't my major yeah. in my undergraduate study. So uh, it's a new thing that I'm getting into, so I really haven't made a. Um, you want to do, we got a camera here. You want to do your uh, audition right now? Or is this the no, area? No, no, no. No, no, you're thinking no, of a different no, no. area of communications. Um, I'm not sure what to go into. It's a, this is a new direction, so. Okay, but you're not making eye contact well, now. No, not, no, no. Not, not this direction. <laughs> All right, goals after you're done. I mean, obviously you'd like to keep playing. Yes, obviously. hold on. I'm going to keep playing until my knees buckle on me, until <laughs> my body drops down. Um, next, the next level is you know, trying to get drafted or going playing overseas. That's my next thing. I don't like to look too far ahead, so that's my main focus right there. Trying to make the move to the basket. Strong take for two for Erica Beverly. Coming up in Best of You, a swimmer at Vermont who spent her life in the pool, even though oftentimes it may not be the most comfortable thing for her to do. Swimming is a is a love-hate, and I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't be without it. And I love, I love to compete, and I love my teammates. Um, and there are aspects of it, like sometimes the grueling practices and of course the chlorine allergy. 